Hi, I'm Crystal. Um, I study at the University of Auckland. Um, I did my first year majoring in biomed. Um, and then, yeah, my main intention from doing my first year of biomed was to apply for like clinical programs such as med or medical imaging, um, mostly applying for medicine. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get in, but I decided after that to continue on my degree. Um, yeah, I decided to sort of switch my major to doing physiology, which is what I'm doing now. Um, and yeah, I'm a third year currently, my last year of my degree. So yeah, it's really exciting. <laughs> cool. Awesome. <laughs> I guess to um, start, like, I was wondering what made you choose like University of Auckland? Was it just because like, I mean, I'm assuming you're from Auckland. Yeah. <laughs> just because it was like close to home or? <laughs> um, yeah, I mainly because it was close to home like I I also got fast tracked into University of Auckland so I guess that's also like a big part of it um yeah I I think ultimately I, I got into both um Otago and uh, UOA but I think I just sort of preferred to like stay closer save <laughs> costs and stuff like that mm. yeah Cool, cool. Yeah, so when when you say you got fast track, does that mean like you just skip year 13? Fast tracking, um, say you've reached like a certain number of credits, like if you're doing NCA or um, Cambridge or whatever yeah. um, in high school in your final year, and then you're sort of offered a, a place um, as long as you've reached, like as long as you've passed NCA, if I'm not yeah if I'm not mistaken um yeah just because in year 13 yeah in year 13 and 12 I did like accelerated classes so that meant that I could get my um like level three credits a bit earlier so yeah that meant that I could sort of have a almost preferential entry into uni um like yeah as a high school weaver oh okay so you still like you still did year 13 it's just yeah yeah so it's just sort of saying you say you've already gotten a certain number of credits but like just in the middle of the year in middle of the year in year 13 um then it's sort of saying like oh you're sort of on the track to like basically getting into a um your degree of choice um and yeah we're just giving you a option to like reserve your spot almost if that makes okay. sense cool yeah yeah um yeah so I was wondering what kind of what's your uni schedule like these days for physiology I think per paper that I have it's roughly like two to three lectures a day um but then on top of that I'll have um labs which are part of like the practical components for um some of my med site papers which are like three hour long labs I have around two a week and then yeah on top of that it's like <laughs> a lot of study yeah. um maybe, yeah I I'd say at, at least at least nine to ten hours study um yeah. yeah just to make sure that I'm on top of everything I guess just going back into like biomed this, I don't know if this is like something you want to talk about but is there anything you think that like you could have improved on or like that would have helped you got to get in did they tell you if it's like your grades or if it's like your interview or like yeah what? so with um yeah for, for medicine entry right yeah. yeah so I think just like in general like the the competition for medicine and university of Auckland is like so mm. insanely high so yeah. it's yeah it's just I think like with other students even though you could have a really good GPA like just the tiniest things could you know put you like mm. up 10 steps or whatever yeah. so for medicine um, they consider your GPA as long uh, as well as your um, it's like a test called a UCAT as well as the interview so there's like a few different factors that like will determine your entry and yeah it's just whether or not you do like a certain thing better than the others in terms of my entry I didn't quite get a perfect 9.0 GPA yeah. which is probably a big part of it um yeah but I did get quite a competitive GPA I think yeah it must have just been like other small things that would have yeah. offset money yeah but um 
yeah in general in times like that like it's mainly because it's just so competitive you've got yeah. a very narrow margin right <laughs> um, um yeah I'll be getting in so yeah cool. yeah I guess um what made you want to change to physiology like rather than I don't know trying to apply like postgrad or you know other options yeah so I changed to physiology for um sort of for the sake of applying postgrad because I, okay. I still yeah I still want to apply for um postgraduate right programs um yeah yeah I'll probably try for med again yeah I switched from biomed to physiology mainly because I was more interested in like the physiology side of things so in your first year sort of a broad range of papers you've got your bio size um which is like your like sort of more biology based you've got some medical aspects some clinical stuff but um you've got a med side paper which is very clinical and yeah I was sort of more interested in like the clinical physiology human physiology sort of side and if I were to continue biomed um I mainly have to do like biology stuff so mm -hmm. yeah it mainly did it out of interest and also the fact that I think with the physiology pathway there's a little bit more flexibility in terms of what papers you'd like to choose it's not as rigid as biomed I think in, in my opinion <laughs> right yeah yeah it's interesting because like people think biology is like the body but then when I when I think back to like year 13 um, I yeah. feel like you learn more in like PE about the body than biology <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure because biology there's just so many like different aspects yeah. of things right? Um, a lot to cover so yeah that's basically it cool. um, so you also have um, a video about Notion and like I yeah. recently started using it and I like I'm a big fan <laughs> um, but yeah I was wondering how did you kind of come across it and yeah like what made you want to start um, so for Notion I've like I think ever since my first year like for biomed I was like I yeah. think as most other pre-meds where I was like really on that grind to like yeah. um all about productivity and everything and yeah I think I'm sort of eased into Notion and I saw it becoming a thing from like some like popular YouTubers yeah. um who are all about productivity and like a lot of med students use that and yeah I just really I I tend to really like workspaces and things that like look really clean and nice to look at. Um, I feel like I'm a very visual person in that aspect. And yeah, I really liked how you could do so many things with Notion and how clean it looked. Um, and yeah, that's sort of how I got into it. And just with more playing around, um, I finally got it to like where my Notion workspace is today <laughs> and in my video which I'm quite happy with at the moment, but obviously so many things you could do with it. I just, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I feel like, I don't know, people, more people will start, um, should use it. I don't know. I feel like it's just. Yeah, for sure. I, I, feel, like it's, I feel like it's still kind of underrated. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like, it's one of those things that like, it's going to become really popular very soon. Yeah. <laughs> And then people are going to be like, yeah. wow, this is amazing. But yeah, so I, we've kind of talked about academics. I guess, what's your opinion on like the social life at UOA? Like, do you feel like there's a lot to do? Or have you been in, like, in any clubs and stuff like that? To be completely honest, I like haven't, because of like how demanding my degree was, especially yeah. in the first year and stuff, I feel like it really, first off, it depends on like what your goals are with uni and like right, your degree. Yeah how intensive it is because in my first year I didn't really get to experience a lot of like uni related mm. things like a lot of social things yeah um and I think yeah I think after my first year going into like second and third year I guess that's when I could sort of like have a look at like the social aspects and what yeah. they have to offer which is obviously a, uh quite mm. a lot um yeah and like my recent vlog I went through like the careers of oh, careers clubs mm -hmm. expo um yeah. which has got like a bunch of like different things that you could have a look at and if you're interested in any you could sign up for them I haven't like gone to a lot of club events but I've joined stuff like um Tanza like if you have any idea 
um yeah i know yeah. um i know someone called leon he's in it <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah 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 i don't i think it's like a huge it's quite a big one of the biggest clubs i feel like yeah. um and also esa which is like an east asian student association i think i um, i think that's what it is yeah. but yeah they're quite cool clubs that i do i know that they do run a lot of like um activities and events mm -hmm. and stuff but yeah obviously it depends on how busy i am to go yeah. to those i but, feel like yeah. the distance is hard as well like i live quite far away from the city so oh, okay. like going into an event just for like yeah. an hour or two it's like I can't really be bothered yeah for sure I mean yeah for me as well I, I live quite far from like central so the commuting time <laughs> just to go into uni for events is quite like yeah it's quite long so yeah how do you feel about that like do you do you ever think about moving out or are you like very much just happy to chill at home <laughs> um I yeah I've thought about it I think with commuting it hasn't been terrible because mm. mainly go with my friends in uni right. yeah. so I couple with my friends um, yeah, and yeah. most of my friends like live mm. um, around me so yeah it's like I guess it makes the experience a little bit better um going to uni but yeah in terms of like moving out and stuff I guess it could be an interesting experience like I think the main thing for me was just like I I'm not I'm not super dissatisfied with how I go to uni and like commuting and stuff so I'm quite okay staying at home and saving that extra bit of money yeah um, yeah so that's sort of the main thing cool cool um I guess going into your YouTube channel now um so I think you only recently started making videos but um yeah like what made you want to start doing YouTube I've always really liked um taking photos and videos and stuff just yeah just like memories and whatnot like I think for a few years I was doing this thing called like one second a day um yeah. and yeah it's like just this app and like you just take literally like a second video of like each day and then by the end of the month or a year you can just like compile it and push it together and you'll have like a cool video of like everything you've done throughout the year um and I was like doing that for a little bit and yeah I, I think that just became quite a, like a normal thing with like my friends like I do little like, mini vlogs every day um and yeah I just always wanted to get into YouTube you know I just take it that step further basically and yeah I'm having a lot of fun with it <laughs> I'm not really no not really looking for anything to like yeah, yeah. Um, yeah just doing it for fun really it's cool like even myself like when you look back on your old vlogs it's really just nice yeah. to have something to for like, sure, yeah. See. yeah so I was wondering I guess going back into uni like if someone's watching this and maybe they're thinking of coming to UOA like doing biomed or like what do you have any advice or any tips like what would you say to them I told myself in like my first year mm. is that I should really just focus on yourself and like focus on your own yeah focus on your own growth and development because obviously going into uni is just such a huge step and I feel like through your first year you like you change so much and you you learn a lot of things about yourself I knew that in my first year I felt grown so much as a person how the environment is and like yeah. how my degree was it was like I really had to push myself I really had to stay on top of things and yeah I felt like by the end of the year I guess it's like so cheesy but I, I really sort of discovered my own yeah. potential just with my goals and everything how far I was willing to go for those goals yeah I think with that kind of environment sometimes it can be it can tend to be a little toxic in some elements where I think especially in biomed and like pre-med that kind of thing you tend to compare yourself a lot to others because obviously it's a it's just like a big competitive cohort yeah, yeah you tend to compare yourself a lot and I think in that sense it's like quite unhealthy in the long run to do that so yeah there are times where I, I felt like just so yeah I just felt like it was so draining to, to have that sort of mindset and that environment yeah. but yeah I think 
that's definitely like the biggest thing but other than that like I think just having fun with it uni is obviously a huge step you're you're studying and you're essentially like a full-time student I think yeah it's important to sort of look for that balance as well do things that you enjoy in that time um yeah yeah <laughs> yeah for sure I think yeah it's always it's always not good to like compare yourself to other people because that's otherwise <laughs> yeah, everyone's just, on their own journey you know <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's very it's very toxic to do that right <laughs> yeah and I feel like it's not like a zero sum thing you know like someone else's success isn't necessarily like yeah for sure for you, you know so to work on your own little goals and your own progress yeah. yeah just finally I like to ask people about the city that they're from and like I mean we're both from Auckland but I was wondering like what what are your favorite spots in Auckland like if someone's coming to visit anywhere you'd recommend I'm I'm such a like <laughs> I've like stayed in my little um shell because I I live um east Auckland yeah so yeah I just feel like I haven't really explored mm. that much like if people did come to visit I would honestly just like go around for like food and stuff yeah what are your favorite yeah. food spots that's my favorite food spots are like central-ish like if you want me to name some of them like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you want yeah um I really like the candy shop if you've heard oh, of yeah. that I've heard um, is it like kind of like Korean fusion kind of thing yeah kind of I, I think yeah most of the places I like I like kind of fusion mm. it's like contemporary. I'm a huge like sucker for like nicely designed places like I really like when people make their branding look cool so um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, indie shop is like one of them yeah I really like this small restaurant um East Auckland called Nine Balls it's a really cute little cafe restaurant thing <laughs> and they have good food <laughs> yeah so, yeah other than that um, like I mean yeah <laughs> is there any like places close to uni that like you you like to go oh I go I guess I go to Eden noodles a lot with my friends oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I guess yeah, yeah just a, yeah. a walk from uni and just go mm. there just like, chill and eat I think when I'm at uni I don't um I'll typically go there to like study but this year for the most part I've been bringing my own like tax lunch and all that that's good I really though get... all about like yeah. saving money <laughs> yeah exactly that's I good. didn't really spend that much money yeah. so I just bring my own stuff and like yeah chilled out there but yeah I, I definitely want to explore Auckland <laughs> yeah I feel like Auckland's pretty good for Asian food there's a lot of nice um restaurants so yeah <laughs> Cool. <laughs> um no well, that's pretty much it um thanks so much for doing right. this um i i will leave your links down below so people can go follow you and check out your channel and Thanks. yeah best Hi. of luck to your studies um so is this your final year now if you're in, are you in third year yeah so um this is my third year of this degree so hopefully yeah. um yeah i i will be applying for some like postgraduate stuff um yeah. next year so yeah, I'll be applying for medicine, um, applying for a few other things, maybe medical yeah. imaging or doing like a postgraduate diploma. Um, yeah, but it obviously really depends on how I go this year. Cool. Well, um, yeah, I wish you the best of luck <laughs> and hopefully um, we can like follow your journey. You can yeah, like vlog yeah. it. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I think I can vlog a lot more this year. Yeah. And, like, yeah. But, yeah, thank you so much for this. No like, worries. Awesome thank you. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. You probably have like tons of work to do. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. Okay. All right. See so, yeah, you. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night.